Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by the law offices of Ogle, Elrod, and Brill. You hear them say it time and again, they come to you, and it's true because they come to you. If you call them and want to have a consultation, they will meet you wherever you want that, wherever they want that consultation, wherever you want that consultation to be. It's hard for me to say, but it's easy if you call them the law offices of Ogle, Elrod, and Burrell. All right, I want to invite everybody to follow me on Twitter, and I'll tell you today when our overtime segment is online at sportsource.tv. Today's segment, I think we got our Twitter. Uh, can we get the Twitter handle and everything? There you go. There's the website and there's the Twitter. Uh, we'll tell you about our overtime segment when it goes up. Today we're going to look at the fact that Texas is now going to sell beer and wine at football games. How long before Tennessee tries to do that here? What other ways can Tennessee try to raise revenue on game day without raising ticket prices? That's in our overtime segment. We all know about the senseless murders in Charleston this week. Uh, we've all seen the photos of the racist killer holding his Confederate battle flag. There's several photos. Back in 2007, before all of this, Steve Spurrier stepped out, as only Steve Spurrier will. South, South Carolina still has a Confederate flag that flies on their state capitol grounds. Spurrier said, I realize I'm not supposed to get into the political arena as a football coach, but if anybody were to ever ask me about that damn Confederate flag, I would say we need to get rid of it. I've been told not to talk about that, but if anyone were to ever <laughs> ask me about it, I certainly would, would wish we could get rid of it. Uh, given this, he's not afraid to speak his mind. I bring this up only to say, this is a mess Tennessee has to be happy they don't have to fool with. South Carolina has to deal with the rebel flag issue. Ole Miss, for gosh sakes, we know they deal with all kinds of issues. Georgia had to change their state flag, but until then, that was an issue. How happy must Tennessee officials be that they trace to the War of 1812 is their logo. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're volunteers, 18, it's nothing to do with the Civil War. I mean, I just think that, that has to be one where Tennessee's like, whew. Yeah, there's not many things that you can say that Tennessee uh, has avoided yes. controversy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this to me is uh, well, but one I, where you, you scale. Know, what it is, it's just, a, it's just a problem that you don't need. It's an unforced mm -hmm. error. I mean, you sit there and you put something out there that what? 10, 15 percent of the population looks at as a negative, and what we're going to do is we're going to build it up. We're going to make it something huge. Now, 10 to 15 percent of the population is going to hate it. And I just think, you, why go looking for trouble? I would think 10 to 15 percent would be a low estimate. Yeah, and not only do you have to be elated money. you don't have to deal with this, at what point do you also bring it up and say, boy, have you, yeah, have you seen that logo? Do you see what they fly over their state I mean, capital? You know, that's part of recruiting. Well, yeah. it is. I remember uh, yeah. visiting with Steve Sloan years ago at Ole Miss when he talked about what a, a negative uh, sign that was. And also, within the last 25 years, Louisiana had a guy that had been in the KKK run for governor, yeah. David Duke. Yeah. So uh, that's not that far removed no. from where we are. Uh, so it, it, Tennessee has to be very happy that they don't have to worry about the, conf the Confederate battle flag issue like some mm -hmm. other schools in the SEC and some other coaches who have to out-recruit guys who are using that in a negative way. All right, when we see you next week, we'll talk plenty of UT football. We will every week until football season, which is just around the corner. See you then. The views expressed in this forum do not necessarily reflect those of WATE6 or of 6 Sports. This has been a paid program.